Hi, good morning. My name is Rhiannon and I am a teaching artist and visual artist. Uh, welcome to my home studio. In this series of four videos, we will be investigating symbols and uh, for your food cart. And uh, first day, today, we'll look into the elements of art. And uh, the next day, principles of design. After that, the um, using thumbnail sketches. And finally, creating your own symbol uh, representative of the, the food and the culture of your food cart. Okay, thanks for being here. And remember uh, that the, the process is more important than the product. And I hope you find a little joy in, in the process and in drawing the way that I do. Thanks for being here. All right, let's get started. So today you are using the elements of art to draw the first letters of your name in six different styles. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and colors of your choice. Crayons and markers also will do. I'm going to switch out my pencil for a pen so you can actually see it. All right, so the first thing you are going to do is orient your page horizontal, wide like a couch. And you are going to sketch in six boxes that you will then draw in, lightly sketch in, the first letter of your name. My name's Rhiannon, so I will sketch in an R. Just lightly doing it, and then I'm going to go back in and add some detail or stronger stroke, rather. More defined. And then what you're going to do is you are going to, as well as draw in your letter, we're going to label each text box with the elements of art. All right, so line, shape, size, value, texture, and color. Okay, uh, I will bring in some nature to inspire us, and let's start out with line. Here we go. And the curves of the helicopter, the maple helicopter, the wispiness and wispy lines of the clematis, the dashed lines, the zigzag and torn edges of the birch uh, bark, and those can inspire us in creating our own lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing and I'll speed up the video and that'll allow you to kind of create your own shapes and, or your own lines um, and do your own drawing. All right, next up is shape. So I brought in, to inspire us, uh, some shapes from nature, an ammonite, that spiral. You've got these rhombus diamonds and this sequoia pine cone, the star of the, um, the poppy cap, and you've got a heart leaf. All right, next up is going to be size. And to inspire us visually are different maple helicopters. And different size gives us a chance to sort of see things in a different way. And that perspective 
can highlight um, different shapes and different, um, different details. Okay, so next up we have uh, value. So value is going to be a spectrum from light to dark, dark to light. And we can get this effect by using, here I'll put this right there. We can get this effect by using the side of our pencil and the closer we get to light, the lighter our pencil is. Uh, touching the paper. Okay, so next up is going to be texture, and texture is one that's super fun. It also um, is a little tricky, but it gives us a lot of, um, let's see, illusion, I, I guess is what I'm getting at. There um, is texture in this coral, kind of bumpy and pocky. Uh, light and feathery here. Uh, we've got this acorn and we've got this scale with the cap um, and it's kind of bumpy in contrast with the smooth here and sharp. And so we're, we're creating, creating this illusion of something that is uh, three-dimensional three -dimensional that you can touch and you are translating that onto something that's two-dimensional. Uh, so it, it uh, is pretty powerful if it's used in the right way. All right, here we go. Okay, so last one for today is color. I brought in the Pantone color guide here for blue, some blues and purples. And we can see that there's so many different colors on another spectrum of light to dark just within this one shell. Color is a pretty interesting thing if you dive into that and uh, explore the science behind it. Okay, so we are going to look at primary colors and secondary colors. I'm going to use the, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, as my lettering. And then for the background, I'm going to use the secondary colors. That, it, that would be the uh, orange, green, and purple.
here we go. Thanks for joining me and uh, I think you should be really pleased with your uh, with your letters and um, and using the elements of art in each.